Hey everybody, welcome back to the brand new video. Today we're heading to our local mall to find some baseball cards. Yes, Lids, the hat store at the mall, sells sports cards now. So Heather sent me a text and said that she was walking by this store in the mall and they had a top sign out there, sent me a pic of the baseball cards in there. I was like, wow, we gotta go do a video here. So Hobby Box is sold here, sign on the door. We'll talk a little more about that because I asked about those, but let's show you the selection of cards they have here. You can see there's Heritage, Series 2, Series 1. You've got some Bowman, you've got some basketball on the shelf, you've got hanger boxes. So I'm gonna pick up a few of these. I'll do $75 worth approximately of cards. We'll open them up and see what we can find. So next time you're at your mall, check out Lids and see if they have any baseball cards. Thank you very much for watching. Let's go ahead and see what we can find. All right, everybody, back from Lids and time to open up some cards. So what you see here, we've got three hanger boxes. These were $14.99 a piece, so a little more than what you would expect. I haven't seen these at my Target yet, but I think they're usually around $12 a piece. We picked up a Bowman pack. That was $11.99. Again, a little bit more than Target. It's $9.99 at Target for one of those. A fat pack of Series 2 for $7.99. And a fat pack of Donruss for $6.99. All together, the total on this was $76 and some cents. So it's another place to find cards and uh, kind of cool. Uh, they also said that they had hobby boxes there. It was kind of weird. I asked, hey, I saw a sign that says, you got hobby boxes here, do you have any in the back? And he's like, yeah. So he goes back there and he pulls out a retail box of 2022 Heritage and he looks at the bottom of it and it says 449 or 499 or something like that. And uh, he was about to sell me, or at least he, I thought he was going to try to sell me this box for five bucks. And I was like, eh, I think that might be by the pack. And uh, I wasn't interested anyway because I wanted hobby boxes and I almost, invited myself to go back into the storage room there i almost said hey can i just go back there and look around because i thought i saw i thought i saw some jumbo boxes of series two now that might just have been me imagining um things but so if you've had any luck at lids with hobby boxes let us know in the comments what you've picked up there so let's go ahead and get started wyatt this is his haul Wyatt is one of our Patreon members. If you'd like to become a Patreon member, there's a link in the description to this video. There's also a link to channel memberships as well if you'd like to support the channel. Thank you very much for watching. Everybody remember, all month long in August, try to be the first commenter. Every time you're the first commenter in a video, you're entered in for the Bat Down Short Print Acuna Rookie Card. We'll draw it at the end of the month. So to get that first comment, you gotta have your post notifications on. So go ahead and find that subscribe button. Hit that if you haven't already. And then there's a little bell next to the subscribe button. Tap that and click it to all so you get notified every time we post a video. So let's go ahead and see if we can get anything in here. $75 worth of cards. We're going to start off with 2022 Don Russ. We got Ronzi Contreras leading things off. Pirates pitching prospect. There's Jaron Duran and Alex Verdugo. We've got a Gavin Sheets rookie card. There's Aaron Judge with 43 home runs. I was just thinking the other day. I remember back in 1994 just being crushed on August 11th when they cut the season. That was it. August 11th, Matt Williams was sitting on 43 home runs, and everybody was kind of captivated by his chase of the Maris home run record. That was on August 11th. Aaron Judge hit his 43rd on, what, August 1st the other day? We got a hit. Oh, man. I was Yeah, we do have a hit. Trevor May. It is a an auto, not an auto, but a relic of Trevor May. So a relic out of the fab pack. That's pretty nice. Wasn't really expecting that. Here's our red hollows at the end. And we have Max Scherzer. So Wyatt gets a hit. Trevor May. To start this video off, we also have a bunch of Series 2. They had some heritage there, but I figured I, I really like Series 2 because I like going after the J-Rod short print. Let's see what we can find in this next pack. We've got Alfonso Rivas rookie car leading things off. Now the base set, there's nothing too crazy in the base set. So the base cards don't interest me as much as the middle of this pack where the inserts are going to be. And hopefully there's a short print in there. Let's see what we can find. We have a blue parallel of Pablo Lopez. And we've got Brian Reynolds, Stars of MLB, George Springer, and Jack Flaherty. There's another, um, I guess that's John Carlos Stanton there. 
going crazy with Aaron Judge. Dylan Carlson Gold Cup card. It's the trade deadline today, by the way. So I'm filming this very early morning on Tuesday morning. So there may be some... Actually, maybe the trade deadline is tomorrow. So there might be some big trades coming down the pike. And uh, still waiting to see if Juan Soto gets traded. I predict he will get traded. I don't know where he's going to go. I looked like it was going to be the Padres for a while, but then they gave up a nice big haul for Josh Hader. Still have a lot of the pieces that would be required to get Soto, like Robert Hassel and C.J. Abrams and Ryan Weathers and the like. Maybe Mackenzie Gore. I don't know. I, I, the more I think about it, the more I think the Padres would be a nice match. But we'll see what happens. All right, here's our hanger box of Series 2. Again, all the good stuff is going to be in the middle. And let's see if we can get lucky with anything here tomorrow on the channel i think we'll have 500 dollars worth of boom boxes for you guys hopefully we can hit some good stuff in there throwback thursday on thursday as always so make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a thing also a really big consignment auction on thursday night as well we have alejandro kirk your all-star catcher starting catch of the all-star game that's going to be an icy green out of 499 get that one sleeved up cutter crawford we got a blue of miggy not numbered Ozzy Albies, Adolis Garcia, J.D. Martinez. And unfortunately, there's not going to be any sign of the J-Rod short print in this next pack. I'll go through the rest of these for why. There's Ozzy Albies, Max Muncy, Luis Garcia, Trevor Larnock. So we have that Bowman pack as well. And uh, there was only one Bowman pack on the shelf. I was hoping there was going to be some more. I, I asked them, hey, do you have any more of these in the back? It's kind of weird to set up. They had like one pack on each ledge. I don't know what kind of uh, what kind of strategy that was. <laughs> like just literally one pack of inventory out there. Maybe it's to prevent people from coming and buying all of their stuff so that they have um, you know they have inventory. Kind of, I guess maybe that's a good idea. It's like it's uh, it's not that hard. There's Frankie Montas, the newest member of the Yankees. It's not that hard for them to go back and restock, and that way um, they can keep uh, packs on the shelves all week long since Lids is such a tiny little store. I haven't bought a hat in Lids in the longest time. I think the last time I bought a hat in Lids, it was a Houston Astros hat in 1997 or something like that with the new star logo and i remember putting it down at the ymca while playing basketball and somebody freaking stole it i was really mad about that there's juan soto and i think that's going to be pretty much it for this one now the bowman pack i'm hoping there's something big in there we'll also give that pack a quick little feel and see if we have a sensor sensor packs as you know have that little security sensor in there and uh, they are typically better than non-censored pack just in the fact that they have color parallels in them all right here we go Wyatt's last box last hanger box so another place to find some cards that I've heard of some other stores and I've tried some other stores here and there that uh, people have reported to me that sell cards but I haven't found them there gas station electronic store etc but uh, pretty cool that uh, they had, had them in lids Went to another Lids maybe two weeks ago out at a different mall. I think it was Ross Park Mall. They I said, hey, do you guys sell cards? And they looked at me like I was nuts. In fact, they looked at me like they didn't even know what cards were. But it was pretty cool. So I was at the National, and Heather sent me that text and said, hey, Eric, they've got cards here at Lids at the mall. And I was like, what? She's like, you want me to buy you some? And I was like, actually, I'm, I'll just go and make a video. I hope they still have some. So once I got back from the National, went there and... A bunch of stars and men will be in there four of those no hit club tyler gilbert so we went and ended up grabbing 75 bucks worth there i was really hoping they'd have a hobby box back there but uh, maybe the maybe the selection differs from place to place but just another place that you could find some cards and now let's go ahead and see what's in that bowman packs so nothing too crazy yet we had the relic now the sensor i can I could feel a um, like a security strip right there. Let's go ahead and see what we've got in this one. There's our sensor. And I'm hoping there's gonna be some color in here. 
It's not every time you get a sensor pack that there's color, but um, typically there is. All right, here we go. $12 for a jumbo pack of 2022 Bowman. We got Lars Newt Bar in there and Brian De La Cruz, Vidal Brujan rookie card, and we got the Wander. Now, Wander Mania has really, really cooled off, but we'll get that one still sleeved up. There's CJ Abrams, who may be on the move. And unfortunately, there's not going to be any color in this pack. We'll see if we can hit another nice chrome first at the back side here. Maximo Acosta, Eduardo Lopez, Brandlin Haraba, and Zayed Salinas is going to be the last one there. So there you have it, folks. Another spot to add to your list when you're out there on the hunt looking for cards. Stop by the mall and see if Lids has anything. If you're getting shut out at your Target and your Walmart and they have nothing, just another option out there. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys liked this video. Hit that thumbs up button also. Don't forget to tap the notification bell. Try to get the next comment in the next video um, to go after that Acuna Jr. We'll give that one away at the end of the month. Have a great rest of your Tuesday, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody.